I'm so happy to be with you again today. It was very noisy out in the backyard today. Some people were hammering and some people were sawing. There were lots of airplanes going over in the sky, so it was kind of noisy to make a video at the swing set. So we decided to come back into the kitchen and do some more science. Are you liking the science when we do it? Yeah, I am too, and so is not Spotty. Mm, where is Spotty? He was right over there a minute ago. Mm, oh, Spotty. He's not under there. He's not under here. He sure does know how to hide. He's not in the cupboard. He's not under the glider. Where could Spotty be? Hi. Do you see what I see? Ready? Ready, Spotty? One, two, three. <laughs> we found you. You were in the glider chair hiding under the red pillow. That's funny. You're a good hider. Okay, Spotty. Like science, don't you? Mm. He does. He likes science a lot. So we have something fun to do today. And let's get a ball. Here you go. Here's a balloon for Spotty so he can sit on the table and see. Here you go. Hold on to the blue ball today, Spotty. Because I'm going to bring some things over for our science experiment. We have one big board. That is a big board, isn't it, Spotty? We have one big board, and we have another big board. Oh, look, these are exactly the same size. They are just exactly the same. They're the same length and the same width. This is going to be great, Spotty. This is what we needed. Two boards that are the same. I'm going to put one here and one here. Now, we need two baskets. I'm going to set one right here, but first I have to empty the other one. I want to show you what's in this. Because we got, okay. We have two cans of fruit cocktail. And we have two cans of chicken, and we have two DVDs, and we have two pink tennis balls. I know, isn't pink a great color for tennis balls? We oh yeah, we have two of those. And we have a green balloon and a yellow balloon. And we have two rollers, and we have some blocks here. I wonder what we're going to do with these. I see something else over here that we have. Oh, we have three of these kind of blocks. I think we are going to have some fun. I'm going to put this basket down here. Spotty, that what we could do is we could make ramps and we could see how fast things roll down the ramps. So let's take all of our things off. We'll put some over this side and we'll put some over this side. There we go. Now we are ready to do our science experiment. So we have these two boards. Oh, we're going to take these guys off. There we go. Let's pile those up over there. <laughs> you like this, buddy? I know you do. Okay, let's start with our two rollers. Ooh, these are good. Remember we made binoculars one day? I see you. Okay, so if we put these on here, hmm, they roll a little bit. They roll if I push them. Ah, I thought it was going to go off the edge, but it didn't. See, they roll if I push them. 
what happens if we make these boards a little bit higher on this end so we make them like a ramp? Ramps are very, very interesting because they're like little hills. And like if somebody were pushing a baby stroller, they might like to have a ramp instead of stairs to go up. Or if somebody were riding in a wheelchair, they would need a ramp to get over the curbstones or of the step into a door. So let's put this board under like this and see if we can make a little ramp and see what happens with our boards. There we go. Let's see if our catch baskets are lined up here. Ah, that looks pretty good. This one I think could go a little closer. There we go. Okay, should we try the tennis balls first? Ready, Spotty? Let's see what happens. Nothing happens. Let's see what happens if I... No, nothing happens. Do you think we need to make the ramps a little steeper? Nothing happened with the tennis balls. Let's see. Oh, even though it's not very steep, let's see what happens with the fruit cocktail. Oh, one's going. Did it land in the basket? Let's see. It did! But look at this one didn't go at all. Let's give it a little push and see what happens. a little bit higher because they needed a little push to go down the ramp. Let's see what happens. Let's take another board. Okay. Let's put two boards under here now. Here we go. There you know. Does that look a little bit higher? I think it does. Let's see what happens with the fruit cocktails now. Ready? One, two, three. Here we go. Oh! <laughs> I think they landed at the same time. <laughs> okay. Now we get something going. Let's see what happens with these balloons. If I set these balloons on, do you think they will go down the ramp all by themselves? Mm -mm. Nope, they can't. They can't. The ramp's not steep enough. What if I pull the ramp way up like this? Ooh, it's still not steep enough. Balloons are trickier, partly because they're rubber, and the rubber kind of sticks to the wood. What if we blew the balloons up? Let's see what happens. <laughs> hey, Spotty, a yellow balloon, just like you. Let's see what happens if we put the balloon on now. Don't go down all by themselves. Should we make the ramp a little bit higher? Okay. Here we go. Let's put this stick under here. And this one under. Now we have put three pieces of wood. And the balloons still don't go. Hmm. Should we try to make it a little higher still? We got more blocks here. Okay, here we go. Oh, look, that one went off the side. I wonder what the green one's going to do. Let's see. <laughs> look, at it's kind of staying in the same place. Spotty, look, we're learning about, actually we're learning about gravity and ramps and how steep ramps need to be. Hmm. I don't think that balloon's going to go anywhere unless we give it a little push. Balloon in the bucket and one under the table. Okay. Now, the ramps are getting pretty high now. Let's try. Let's try our rollers now and see what happens. Ready? I'm going to hold them at the same place. 
Which one do you think will go in the white bucket first? This one or this one? Let's see what happens. That one was, this one needs a push. This one's a little bit stuck. Oh, there we go. Now, what do you think about these cans of chicken? Oh, that's going to roll by itself. Hmm. Which one do you think will go first into the bucket? Uh, you think this one? Okay, let's see what happens. One, two, three. Oh, did you see them? They went like this and they rolled in together. Now, let's try that again with the cans of chicken. Look at, they went into one bucket. Let's try this with the cans of chicken. Okay, let's make one ramp higher. Got a little tiny block here. Should we make this ramp higher or this one? This one? Okay. Here we go. Oh, wait a minute. I'm gonna fix it. Gotta fix something here. There we go. The big boards are getting kind of loose here. There we go. Okay. So here we go. This guy goes up here with this. And this guy goes ahead. This guy's going to be higher, remember? So we've got three pieces of board here, the big ones. Then they've each got one of these. So they're still the same until we put this block here. Now, let's see which one is going to be taller. Mmm, you're right. This one is taller. So, should we put the chicken down and see who goes into the bucket first? Here we go. Which one do you think, Spotty? You think this one? I think this one too, but let's see what happens. Ready? Count with me. One, two, three. Oh, we were right. This one was the fastest ramp because it's steeper. So the steeper you make something, the faster things will roll down it. Let's try the balloons again now and see what happens to the balloons. See, the cans are nice and round, so they roll easily. The balloons might not. They still might not. Let's see what happens. Let's see. Oh, look at the yellow one. What's the green one going to do? Uh-oh. Should I give it a little push? Okay. <laughs> That's funny. Spotty, I think the green balloon wants to sit here with you. The green balloon had a little struggle going down, down the ramp. Now, how about these tennis balls? Let's switch this little tiny block here and put it underneath this one now. Make this one the taller ramp and this one the shorter ramp. Are the tennis balls ready? Which one do you think is going to go into the white basket first? What do you think, Spotty? This one? I think you might be right. Let's watch. Ready? One, two, three. Oh, that one was much faster. You're right. You are learning about speed and ramps now. Now we got one more to do. These are very, very tricky. These are just DVDs like you would watch a movie and this, these are just regular DVDs. And I don't know if this is going to work. Let's see what happens. Let's see if they'll roll down. Whoa! That didn't work so well. Let's give that one more try and see if we can get those DVDs to roll. You know, if you had a board at your house or just something that's flat like this, you could do this experiment too. You could just find things around your house and see how they go down the ramp. Let's, <laughs> let's try this. Actually, let's, let's try not rolling them. Let's try, let's see what happens here. Hmm, nothing. Let's raise this up high like this and see what... Ah, 
it has to be very, very high for this. Oh, it has to be way high for that to go down. That is very interesting. Wow, Spotty, did you have fun with this today? What? You want to go down? What do you think? Should we let Spotty go down? Okay, here we go. Which one do you want to go down first? Hmm, this one? This one? Which one, Spotty? Ah, uh, he wants to go down the fastest one. Let's see what happens. Should I give him a little push? I think you're going to fall in the basket. Is that okay? He's okay with it. Should we give him a little push? Oh, oh look, he's still. Let's, should we lift him up a little? <laughs> did he go in the basket? He did. <laughs> did you like that, Spotty? Was that fun? What? You want to do it again? Okay. We'll do that other ramp this time. Here we go. How about on your belly? Mmm, how about that? Ready? Here we go. One, two, three. Here comes Spotty. <laughs> wow. We had fun with ramps today. And we learned that sometimes things can go down a ramp if they're not very steep. And sometimes they need a steeper ramp like this. So it was very, very fun doing more science with you today. I'm glad we could do this. You are too, aren't you? You know what? It's time for us to say goodbye. And since we're inside, we're inside a lot more now. So we're just going to use this for us, swing our glider chair. Want to go in the glider chair, Spotty? <laughs> what? Somersault? Sure. Ready? One, two, three. Woo! Backwards? Woo! <laughs> you like to do that. You want to go in the glider chair? Okay, here we go. There we go. You want to sit on the red pillow that you like? Okay, I'm going to stand behind you. Here we go. How many swings in the glider chair should we give Spotty today? Seven? Okay, here we go, Spotty. Ready? Hold on. One, two, Three, four, five, six, seven. Yay! Okay, so goodbye from Miss Cindy and Spotty in the kitchen doing science. Bye bye, everybody. See you soon. Do you like to draw pictures? We would love to see your drawings. You can send us a picture you've made or send us a question.